Now I'll try and remember back. The first question was teaching toddler new things. Um, so again, highlighting that high sleep pressure at night. And I was going to see, so what I'll say to a family is, if we work with this first, teaching something to your little toddler around sleep and falling asleep will be so much easier because otherwise what we might be do, trying to do is getting them to lay there, be still, be quiet, don't move and wait and wait until their body takes sleep. And if they're not tired, that could be quite some time. And if they're waking up in the middle of the night and their body just isn't tired to go back and have another sleep, then we're expecting them to lay there in the middle of the night dark and just be quiet and wait again. And most of us wouldn't even be, couldn't last that long ourselves. So highlighting that to the family, that really getting their little body tired and wanting to take big sleeps during the night. And then when we step over to teaching something new, we'll find it's much more likely to work, it's quicker and easier. A toddler will highlight developmentally where they're at, that learning new things is a lot more achievable for them um, than say, you know, a much younger baby, um, and that the idea of independence is there. So what we're asking for them around sleep is to take on some independence. So to be able to dial yourself down, so do some activities that, that you enjoy, that dial themselves down, um, and for waiting for the sleep. To happen. So it's exploring and knowing your little one about what do they enjoy doing, what dials them down. Um, if it's an idea of um, sort of mum that's been breastfeeding stepping back away from that process, um, we highlight that it is just them learning something new, a new way of dialing down. So that's where, um, you know, other parent, other caregiver comes on board, responds to them. So they're being responsive. They're showing them lots of love in whatever way that they show love. Um, they, a toddler can at that age be quite loud and vocal and say, that's not what I want. Um, but that person there is loving them and showing them love and support and comforting and saying, we know that's not what you're looking for, but this is what we've got for now. Um, so just highlighting that. Obviously, um, we don't. That's not first line. But if that's where a family is at, building that time with other caregivers during the day and them exploring what <coughs> works for them, and it's really that love comes in lots of different ways, and that at night time this is how we, we, it's shown. Um, so building up some of those and noticing for your little one what <coughs> works to dial them down. That answer that one. It can and it can be lots of steps. So sometimes for a family, it may be I'm just guessing the toddler that's in bed and breastfeeding frequently during the night. It might start be exploring um, just a bit of space. So it might be a mattress further over, or it might be that they're in their own room now in a bed, but there's a mattress in the room. And so we start exploring things, and as we notice sleep pressure rises, we start realizing there are sleeping for big long blocks I had no idea that I was on the mattress or not and that's what we're kind of opening up. That transit we'll, we'll need to um, stop for lunch but that transitional concept of the mattress on the floor in a child proofed room um, for the breastfeeding um, mother of a, a, a toddler let's say um, so she can certainly still feed that baby back to sleep if 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 um, she's still happy to do that, but then is much better able to roll out and get back to the parental bed um, rather than trying to get that, that little person into a cot. Um, that's a transitional arrangement that um, can work for a lot of families. Um, or it could be that there's been night weaning, it's already occurred, and it's dad, let's say, who's on duty, and he'll lie down with the child. And sometimes he'll drop off to sleep, no big deal, but it's easier to get back into the parental bed. And so that little person learns um, that this is my room, it's a nice place to be when I need, when I need dad, he's there, when I need mum, she's there, but um, uh, it's a transitional phase. 